Okay, hi guys, welcome back to Daily Dose of Us. So, we're currently in a taxi, we're heading into town because my family from America is over. So, my nana's brother actually lives in America, he lives in Connecticut, and he's come over for a week. So, we're heading there. There'll be quite a bit of the family there, I think, for drinks and stuff. Sean's just finished a day shift, so there he is. Support. <laughs> um, and we're heading into town, and we're just going to see like everybody there, have a few drinks, and see how it goes. Come on, Tom. And he says, why? He says, because you're married with three kids. He says, I'm telling you, I'm going to marry you. Tell me close, mate. And you did. Oh, 11. 11. 53 years later. Yeah, get in there. You know what I mean? He's a hell of a long time. Well, that's how long I've known him. <laughs> it's about 40 odd years of being married. Wow. Well. joined my live that I done on Instagram this week or if you follow us on Instagram you might have seen on my stories I basically asked for a bit of advice with a rank angle that's not much better like is it it's the lighting in here like it's it's really funny lighting so I feel like I'm gonna just manipulate the lighting oh my little things running out Jesus anyway so if you clicked on to my Instagram story this week or if you watched the live that I've done on Instagram, I was talking to my friend Jess, a slice of Jess, um, on YouTube. That's not her name. Her name's not a slice of Jess. Normal name's Jess. <laughs> anyway, um, and I was just saying to her, like, oh, I'm really stuck on what to film on my main channel. And she was like, why do you still have two channels? And I was like, I, I don't know. Like, if you've been with us a long time you'll know that I trialed combining both my channels last year and it didn't really work because in my mindset I was like every single video that I upload on my main Demi Donny channel is now going to be a vlog but not every single person likes vlogs so trying to combine my channels at that time never worked. Doing it again you might have realised that this weekly vlog actually went up on my main channel rather than Daily Dose of Us. And that's because I'm going to combine both channels again, but we're going to do it in a different way, in a way that I think is going to actually work. I'm going to have the weekly vlog go up every single Sunday. So everybody who likes Daily Dose of Us, you will still get that weekly vlog, but it will just be on this main channel. The reason for doing this is, one, Sean isn't as active on the channel as he once was. Sean really struggles to vlog when there's nothing to actually vlog. Like, he's not just a daily vlogger. He likes to vlog when he's doing a project around the house, when there's something going on. But in day-to-day -day life, he tends just not to pick up the camera. And that is totally fine. I totally respect that. But it kind of means that Daily Dose of Us is just me as well and that doesn't make sense to have a channel that's just me for vlogs and then also a main channel that's just me for other videos it makes sense to combine both them channels to one so every single Sunday on my main channel Demi Donnelly you will have the weekly vlog if you are the type of person who likes everything in one place I am too and this really annoyed me the fact that half of my weekly vlogs were going to be on Daily Dose of Us and half of my weekly vlogs were going to be on Demi Donnelly um it's really annoyed us that they're not all in one place but I have made a place list on Demi Donnelly which has got all of the previous 18 weekly vlogs on that I started on Daily Dose of Us so if you ever want to just watch through every weekly vlog not like you would probably want to do that but if you ever want just to search for the weekly vlogs they're all in one place on one playlist it just makes it a lot easier for people to find and if you like me and like things all in one place it's going to be a lot easier I'm not deleting Daily Dose of Us the videos will still be there to watch if you want to watch any of the previous ones but any vlogs or anything like that in the future are now going to be posted on my main channel. I think at one time YouTube was very very different when I started five years ago um, YouTube was all about challenges and sit down videos and see or shot it and it's just not the way YouTube is anymore YouTube and people who watch YouTube like to watch everyday vlogs of people just getting on with their life really so having two channels it doesn't make sense because I've always felt limited if I want to do another type of vlog or if I want to do something else I can't post it on my main channel and I've always felt very limited and I feel like I've become quite distanced from the audience that I spent years building up on my main channel and Sean is happy with this decision as well I've discussed it with him I discussed it on Instagram a lot of you thought it made sense to do this as well 
but that doesn't mean if you like the Demi Donnelly videos that you're not going to see them anymore because I'm going to be posting three times a week on this channel yes I'm, I'm going to be posting three times a week there's no ifs or buts I need three videos up a week I need to work harder and I know that I have slacked I lose ideas I don't know what to do but watching my friend Jess has really motivated me she has tried so hard with her youtube over the last year and she's constantly making sure she's got her videos ready on time and i've just been a lazy bitch and i'm totally aware of that so uh, watching jess work so hard has really inspired me to work hard and not forget what i built up and the platform i have and how incredibly lucky i am to have what i have so three videos a week they're going to be on a wednesday friday and sunday sunday every sunday will be the weekly vlog on a Wednesday, you will have another Demi Donnelly style video, whether it be a haul, a come shop with me, something that, you know, is the type of content that I post nowadays. And on a Friday, it'll be another Demi Donnelly style video. The reason I'm doing that is because currently as it is, I post two videos a week on my main channel, Monday and Friday. I am changing the Monday to a Wednesday so that there's a gap between the weekly vlog going up and the other video. I hope that makes sense. I know that I'm making this really complicated and it doesn't fucking need to be. But do you know what I'm saying? So you'll have three videos a week. All I'm basically doing is instead of uploading the weekly vlogs to Daily Dose of Us, they're going over to Demi Donnelly. And they're still all in one playlist if you ever want to like search through them or look for them. They're in one playlist. Daily Dose of Us isn't going anywhere. It will be there, but it's just not going to be active going forward. Um, I do feel really sad about doing this. I've got a pain in my heart. A pain in my heart. Fucking hell. It's not the end of the world, it's a channel. But I worked so hard on that channel and it's got all of the renovation content on it and it, it does mean a lot to us. But I have also created a house playlist as well. So on Demi Donnelly, there's a playlist called house related videos and that also includes all of the renovation vlogs that me and Sean done. I feel like, I feel sad about it because I do feel like I'm losing something like obviously that second channel but I know thinking into the future and looking at the way that it works for us now it's just not attainable to keep both of the channels running and it just makes more sense to have everything in one place going forward so although it's probably going to be a little bit of a like a sad thing just leaving that channel for a while eventually I feel like it is the right decision to run one rather than two and if Sean ever vlogs if he's doing a house project or anything like that it'll go in the weekly vlog um like it'll always he's fully entitled to still be part of it if he wants to and he's fully aware of that if he ever vlogs or anything then he will be just on my main channel as he was prior to having Daily Dose of Us if you go on my channel way back when before Daily Dose even existed Sean was on plenty of videos but it was just in my head when we bought the house and when I knew the house was kind of coming up I didn't want my channel to be overloaded with renovation content but I wish I had just I, I honestly wish Daily Dose of Us was never made because I think it would have made it a lot easier just to have everything in one place but hey ho that is my little speech about what's happening going forward and if you decide to still support the weekly vlogs on my main channel then I really do appreciate it I do feel like it's the best decision and I'm, I'm happy with it I'm just a bit gutted that obviously that obviously Daily Dose is going to be non-active because it was something that I worked on for so long but it just doesn't make sense to have both. I've got a box. I ordered some stuff from the Vegan Kind supermarket, so I need to pop that away. I'll actually show you what I got when I unbox that. Okay, guys, so this is my Vegan Kind supermarket haul. I got two of these Need Vegan Ice Cream Sandwiches. So this is like a raspberry one. They're like in cookies and then a lemon one. And then the other frozen thing I got is the Vegetable Shepherd's Pie. And then I got some cleaning things. I got the Marcel's um, Liquid Detergent. I've had this brand of liquid detergent before but not this scent patchouli cranberry and then i also got the antibacterial spray in aloe and cucumber i thought that would be really refreshing i got quite a few sweets i got the sour apple spaghetti things i got these gelatin free um like little snakes i got these all sour because i love them they're not sour but i thought i fancied them and then i also got these ones I picked up some new dish sponges because we needed some and then I got these I was quite intrigued to try them and um, bubbling co so this one's immune insurance meant to help your immune system and then this one is like a morning it meant to be like help you in the morning like get up and start your day and feel revitalized so I wanted to try both of them so I picked them up I got some of my favorite bags of space radars tin foil I also got this I absolutely love shortbread and I've never 
I think maybe I've had a vegan one once from a supermarket, but this looks like proper shortbread. I'm excited to try it. I got some black bags. I got a kitchen towel. I got these. So noodles from supermarkets, I usually always got egg in them, but these ones um, are like the thick chow mein style noodles, and I love noodles, so I'm excited to try these. I got some cornflakes, and then I also got my favourite vegan patty. This is the vegetable patty. And then I got two packets of the Cheetos, Flaming Hot. Hey guys, we're currently just pottering around, getting everything sorted to go. We're going to Thirsk in Yorkshire. It's about an hour and a half drive. Um, I've just packed my little suitcase. I'm actually going to go no makeup this trip. Just because I feel like it's like a little shepherd talk. Like I don't really need makeup. So I have just brought a mascara and like a brightening thing for my face. Just to make my complexion look a little bit better. But other than that... I'm not taking any makeup, might regret it, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. There's a bee, and not a bee, a wasp, uh, not a wasp, a bloody fly. I'm absolutely sick of wanting to just have my doors open in the summer, but flies getting in, in every fucking room that pisses off. Anyway, we're going on holiday, we're going glamping for two nights. Okay guys, we're finally set off. It's only around an hour and a half drive, so we've got plenty of time because check-in isn't until three. Pups are in the back. We're going to go to Starbucks. It's kind of become a holiday tradition, isn't it? Get a little yeah. stuff. Do you not like Starbucks? Sorry, then. Get on with them tuna Well, uh, them tuna sonics are elite. Like, I'm not going to lie, they're good. So it's, it's a bit of a tradition. Sean enjoys it. He does, don't you? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're all packed, ready to go. We haven't packed that much because we're only going for two nights, but it should be a nice little trip. Um, I've just got my laptop out, I charged it this morning because I'm going to get two edits done on the trip. But I was like, oh my God, it's only an hour. I don't even know if I'll get them done, but I'm going to try. Get the edits done. Um, I mean, when we're there, I did say on the list and it said free Wi-Fi, so hopefully it's better than the last place. Okay, so we're currently at Thirsk. Um, we arrived at the shepherd's hut and it was a little different to what sean thought it was <laughs> he went in a huff because sean obviously when he was booking looked at lots of different shepherd's huts and some of them had private enclosed gardens so this one has an enclosed garden but with all of the other huts so if there's other dogs there which there is another couple with a the dog there we wouldn't really let r2 off um but it's a nice little hut it's really hot though like it's 25 degrees today it's so hot um so we've come into thirsk town center we're staying at what's it called mondike hut mondike fishery and shepherd's hut so that's where we're staying it's like a little farm um where they've got like five or four shepherd's huts a fishery like place and stuff like that um, but we've come into Thirsk Centre just because the shepherd's hut of course like didn't have any air conditioner or anything and it was so hot um so yeah, we're just, we've ordered some food. There's the pups down there. We're in like a little beer garden courtyard. There's Sean. So yeah, we've just ordered some food. We're gonna have that here. We're here for two nights. Um, Thirst looks like a really nice little village. Um, and I think tomorrow, with it being so hot, we'll probably wanna be like out of the hut early. So we might have like a day trip to the beach or something guys look at how cute they are i mean looney could move along a little bit for henry it's probably not the comfiest place that they've, they've stayed with all the stones but they look all right guys, look at this pasta i've never seen a pasta as thick as that before it's got like olives and peppers i asked for it without the chili because i'm not a big fan i did also get some chips and then sean's burger looks a decent one it's like a bistro it looks like good food doesn't it <laughs> This is what Corinne set up. Henry's found a gap of sun, a sun oh, bed. Oh, something's in his, something's in his bum. This is Sean. This uh, is Sean. This yeah. is Sean. <laughs> He's sitting We're in the shaded bit. Luna's just exploring. So this is the area here. As you can see, it's fully fenced. But there's four shepherds out. And the people on the end, we noticed that they also had a dog. So it just wouldn't be like... Although it's fully secure, we wouldn't want to let them off in case they cause mayhem or anything like that. I mean, looking at him, you wouldn't think it. You look so handsome, suddenly, I mean. Guys, Luna's trying to hide her dinner <laughs> with her bed. She's like, I need to hide this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, guys, so we've just been sitting in the lodge since your last scene where I realised I haven't given you a little tour yet. <laughs> I'll do it at some point. I will show you it. But you have, like, a top bunk there which obviously would be good if you had like kids or something and there's like a ladder on the top which you can like bring down um and then you have this bunk with 
the little telly. You do have to bring your own bedding, um, or you can pay to use their bedding, but we just bought our own because, well, I bring my own cushion anyway because I like a deflated cushion. Um, but yeah, so you have to pay for your own bedding, uh, bring your own bedding. But you have like, I would say it's a double bed, do you think? Decent sized double bed. This is the window I should have showed you earlier. We had like a gorgeous view. And then you have like some shelving, your front door. Into that door is the little bathroom. And then you have a little mini kitchen around there. But I'll show you the proper to our like tomorrow or something when it's lighter. We've just been chilling, we've been watching the telly. I've been editing a video. Um and yeah, they have like a half nine quiet policy, so it is like a very relaxing, quiet place um we've been having a look tomorrow we might go to scarborough to the beach for a day trip it's meant to be really hot again so we just want to like find somewhere we can go for the day with the pups guys this is the life it's about 11 in the morning we've been able to let the dogs off because the people in the end hut checked out so luna is just having the time of our life this morning with our ball henry's sniffing somewhere sean's over there i'm going to show you the cabin but it is um not the neatest because we've obviously been here oh you're the hot so i mean you have our messy bed your bunk bed this table pulls out as well they both just got henry's bed then you've got a little seat i mean i'm really sorry for the mess but this is the little kitchen area here and then you just have like shelves here and then in here is your little toilet as well so you've got like your shower your sink area but yeah, we're here tonight and then we're heading home tomorrow. So oh, we're well settled. But it's just much better the day because they've gone. Like, not to be rude, but like, it means we can let the dogs off and they can have a run, have a play. Luna's loving life. So these are the grounds. This is your view. When the sun sat yesterday, it was absolutely beautiful. We're having fun. Um, and then you've got four shepherd's huts. So you have, this is them from the outside. One, two, and then two down there. All of this is enclosed, so there's like a gate behind this blue hut here, which makes it a fully enclosed site. Um, but yeah, if there's other people here with other dogs and everything, you want to be respectful so you don't let yours off. Although it says you can, you don't want to let them off because it's like you feel like it's disrespectful. Um, so yeah, this morning, um, like the checkout was at 10, so the people in the last one have checked out, and check in isn't until 3. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we've got plenty of time where the pups can just have a good play and then we'll go out and explore the village later when other guests potentially may have checked in. Got a Friday as well, so I feel like there will be someone checking in. What are you doing, Hansi? Are you all right? What are you doing? So I might have a snack, ma'am. We've got some shade grass scratching from Henry going on. Wow. It's boiling, so the pups are getting wiped down with a wipe. She's liking that. She's that's actually kind of good at that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just editing Friday's thumbnail. It's my primal call, so I'm just doing the thumbnail for it now. And then we're going to head out. But the pups are not good. What's that? No, I don't need them. Okay, guys, so we've just pulled up at the village we're going out today. What's it called? Margate? No. Mushroom. Masham, Masham, um, and we found this field which you park in, and there's a sign over there which says Honesty Box Parking, which like very different. It's madness, couldn't yeah. have it. I was. No, <laughs> there, there, no one would pay at home, would they? Not living here. <laughs> no, um, but we're gonna go and check it out. We will obviously be paying, but we haven't got cash, so we're gonna go to the village and we'll pay on the way back. So this is the car park, yeah, just a big field, and I'm sure the sign. I'm gonna go and have a quick look at it. Yeah, look at that. So obviously just put what you want in the parking in there. Which obviously you need to have cash and we don't have any, but we will get some and pay when we come out. That's crazy. So I reckon they just use the money to like pay towards the maintenance. What's that? Yeah. Like do you reckon they just use it to pay towards the maintenance and stuff? No, I can't hold it that. Anyway, so that's very, very cute, very nice. <sighs> I got roped into watching like documentaries and that on YouTube yesterday and a one that stuck with us is the Christine McGrimmy. <clears throat> I don't know if many of the people who watch me will know who she is. I'm really hoping some of you do because she was such a significant figure in my life when I was like 16, 17, well, younger than that actually because I didn't know Sean at the time. 
Um, and for those of you who don't know, she actually got shot by a fan at one of her shows in America. And honestly, like since I watched the documentary yesterday, I remember it all happening. I remember being absolutely devastated. Um, and like, I remember actually like being really, really upset because she was somebody who I watched on YouTube for years singing. And like, I used to, me and my friend um, from school used to recreate the things she'd done with her friends. And it was called Above All That Is Random. And we used to do like these little recreations of them and stuff. And I watched a documentary, obviously being 25, years old like 10 years later see it like kind of hits differently like the reality of what actually happened like when I when it first all happened and stuff obviously I understood what had happened but being 25 years old now and actually going back and watching the full circumstances and scenario surrounding our death and everything was really 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 like eye-opening again and I was like fucking hell as if that like actually happened anyway I don't know why I'm talking about it I've just been thinking about it a lot and felt like I wanted to mention it also i watched a really interesting thing on netflix called the girl in the picture and it was again really eye-opening and they're like what the fuck kind of documentary don't know why i'm talking about them watch them been thinking of them <sighs> i'm going through a bit of a moment guys i went out last night with me mom nina and sean and my brother brad came for a bit and i woke up the day and I'm, I'm not hungover i drank bottles of water in the last bar would you believe it or not but i'm going through a bit of a moment where i feel like feel like I want to give up drink but uh, I don't know I feel like it's because when I first turned 18 I never really went out drinking it was never really for me I was the type of person who preferred just to be in the house I was in a long-term relationship and I didn't really like going out but then at the beginning of this year I decided that it was something that I did want to do a bit more and let's just say I ran with that I've been out multiple times a month every month um since the beginning of 2022 nothing wrong with that I'm 25 years old I don't think there's anything wrong with doing what you want to do and if that's going out I've always been like you know I've always enjoyed it I've had good nights I've went out with friends family and any occasion I've been there and I've really really enjoyed it over the last week or so or the last few times I've gone out it's been weird because I feel like I've kind of overdone it a bit like I go out and I don't fancy any of the drinks I feel like I'm sick of beer I'm sick of gin cocktails I'm not really into them and I'm just like I go out and I just, yeah, when I'm there, I'm not enjoying them as much as I was at the beginning of the year. And I feel like I like having people over at my house a bit more at the moment or doing something a bit more chill rather than like going out, out. Um, and I mean, at the last bar last night, I literally just had water. I was still having a great time with my mum and Neil dancing and everything, but I didn't feel the need to get another drink. Like I just felt sick of it all. And I'm going through this thing in my head where I'm like, do I want to give up going out? Which I don't think I do because I really enjoy going out. I really enjoy the social side of it, but I feel like it's the alcohol side of it that I want to give up. Obviously it's not great for your health. I've been having a lot more alcohol this year than I have oh, probably ever 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 I've never been a big drinker even when I was like 18 19 20 and never ever drank a lot so I feel like this year has definitely been the year that I've really upped my alcohol intake which isn't great for your health at all um I, I'm not in but then I'm I'm torn because like as much as I sit here and I'm like I feel like I want to give up alcohol still go out but just not have alcohol like I, I feel like I'm at a stage now where I'm confident enough to go out without the alcohol side of things and I don't like the way it affects you the next day how you're slow and you're sluggish and you can't get everything you want to get done done um and then it always affects us because I come in and I eat a takeaway and I'm starving. And then obviously if I'm trying to eat healthy or anything, all of that gets affected. And no, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just like in one of them moments where I'm like, I feel like I've just been drinking a lot recently. I don't feel great about it. Maybe I want to stop for my health. Maybe I want to stop. I don't want to stop going out altogether, but I do maybe want to try and have a few sober nights out. But I know I'm the type of person that'll get there and be like, actually, I fancy a drink and probably have a drink. I think I just need a bit of a detox I might have like a month where I just like don't go out and just say how I feel I feel like I just need a detox but I'm just feeling a bit like I've had too many nights out <laughs> you know like I just need a detox anyway it's a Sunday it's the day I'm going to be watching this video um I'm just I've been pottering around the house doing housework put loads of washing on put loads of um like cleaning the house because obviously we went away this week I'm really sorry that when we were away the vlog ended abruptly I want to just explain what happened so basically we had pretty much a crap day the day the what, what day was it the day after 
yeah, so we got there. We had a great day the day we got there. The place wasn't kind of what we'd expected, so we were a little bit underprepared. We thought we were going to be able just to let the dogs roam free outside of the shepherd's hut, which wasn't the case because all of the shepherds had shared the same ground and there was people with other dogs there and other people in the huts, which out of respect, we're not going to let our two roam free, worn up to everybody and spoil their holiday. So the listing for the place was actually quite misleading because it did say you had your own enclosed garden for the dogs, but it didn't say that that was shared with all of the other huts so it was kind of misleading so when we got there it wasn't what we expected and it was absolutely boiling and sitting in the hut was quite unbearable sitting outside of the hut was quite unbearable because um the dogs were just absolutely boiling we had to keep them on my leads near us and stuff we went to a little village which it turned out to be an absolute nightmare so we went to this little village henry no we went to this little village we was sat in the first pub and um there was two resident dogs at the pub roaming around the um like pub off lead and everything which is fine it's their pub and everything but luna is a little bit temperamental when dogs approach and she doesn't know they're there and one of the dogs gave her a scare from behind. She didn't realise it was there. She turned around and started like barking at it because she got like a shock. Um, and it just, she couldn't settle after that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, you just wet Willie, just man. Um, what was I even doing? Oh yeah, so the, so we went to this pub and we had a drink there, just like a coke and stuff. And Luna had got a fright from this dog, so she couldn't settle at this pub. So we moved on to another pub, and we couldn't find any seats in any of the other pubs in the man. What was it called, man? This village we were in. We couldn't find any other seats in the pubs that were in the shade. And obviously, it was far too hot to sit in the sun. I don't like sitting in the sun anyway, but for the dogs, it was far too hot just to sit directly in the sun. One place we found didn't have any vegan options um, at all. So it was like, uh, so we just had a bit of a crap day, to be honest. It was absolutely boiling. We both got frustrated. We had our breakfast at nine o'clock, didn't find anything else to eat until four o'clock. We were both frustrated and it just didn't end up being that great. But then that night we went back to obviously our shepherd's hut. We sat out, um, we ordered a Chinese from a local village. We found, I think it was, what was the village? Northampton? I could have that wrong, but I, no, it wasn't Northampton. It was... Um, Northampton, what was it? Base, we found a little village, we had a Chinese and we had an alright night that night and then the next day we just checked out. So I'm really sorry there wasn't much footage from that trip, it just ended up being one of them trips where it was just like, oh, so frustrating. But we did have a good time, the Shepherd's Hut was lovely and you know, we did enjoy it in the end but I think it was just in the moment, we were hot, we didn't like know where we were, we couldn't find anything to eat, like it was just, yeah, a frustrating time. So I'm really sorry that I didn't vlog much of the actual trip, I thought there would have been a lot more footage but... Hey ho, okay, so I have just heard the washer go off. There's another load of washing done, so I'm going to pop that out on me washer thing because it's really hot and I need to take advantage of the heat. I'm an absolute hobbit when it comes to the sun. Absolutely hate just the feeling of being like sun hot. It's too hot for me. Henry, Henry, you can't, you can't sunbathe too long, darling. I can't. No, Luna, in. Luna, come on in. I just can't deal with sun heat. Makes me so hot. Hate it. Right. I'm going to edit this weekly vlog because I want to get it up today, obviously. Because it is Sunday. Just getting everything I need. I can't even walk the dogs properly because literally they start panting as soon as we go out. And I keep touching the floor and the floor's quite hot. I don't want to burn my paws. So it's not ideal because they're going crazy. But... What can you do? I might take them to my mum's for an hour with me and just like, <laughs> not let them play with Dolly for a bit in the house. Oh God. Oh. I just feel really rough today, even though like I'm not hungover. I just feel groggy and had a shower and everything. So, 
right i'm gonna love and leave yous i'll see you very shortly for another video thanks so much for watching and let us know what you think of the weekly vlogs now being on my main channel this is the first one but it will be in the playlist with all of the weekly vlogs from the second channel so if you want to watch them all at any point you can thanks so much for watching and i'll see you shortly for another video bye